Hey, look, Okami's here. I'm, I'm playing more of the game. So you get back, and now you're taught about, um, uh, stuff and things. So he's, he's, uh, expositioning, he's expositing things. Heard the legend of heroes Nagi and Shindernui defeated the beast. That's why the village god, Sacred Tree, 100th anniversary beast defeat. Better finish bamboo want to sell festival. <laughs> and the student's like, man, I love festivals. It's not like uh, literally specifically uh, demons. So, you know, nobody, nobody thinks about it. So, um, you get these coins called Mermaid Spring Coins. Uh, you can buy them to teleport around instead of walking places, so I'm gonna do that. It, this is basically this game's version of fast travel. Um, way later in the game, with an upgraded version of one of your brush techniques, you can teleport as well. Now I'm gonna go back to the forest. You know the place. The place we all know and love with the boy and his dog. And so she's here, you know the lady, the one from the village at the start of the game. She's like, man, I wish this barrel would fill up. It would make great sake if I were to fill up this barrel with water. Well, you'll never guess what I just learned. Man, look at all the water. Oh, I totally didn't ask for all this water. So <laughs> wonderful, this barrel has all the water and I didn't even have to fill it. So she's gonna make the, uh, the sake that was like used to kill Orochi because they got him drunk. So she's making it because tradition. Oh, but wait, demons. Now Madarasu could just run over there and totally deal with it. If she wanted to. Do, do, do you want some spring water, Mr. Demon? Do, I'll, I'll be getting I'll getting this barrel out of your way as soon, Mr. Demon. Susano's all like, um, excuse me, sir. Just taking a walk, and look what I run into. He could totally handle that one on his own, no help. Take one more step towards the lady, and I'll. It, it'll, it, it'll be your last. More demons show up. The great Susano, descendant of Nagi, forbids it. Don't despair, maiden. Susano, saving day. This does look bad. Susano could get totally messed up. Swing my sword in the name of love. Susano style, sword of passion. You got him, Susano. Hang on, he has a, a, a sprite for when he's- not a sprite, at least this isn't an old game. Alright. So I just wanted him to get him beaten up, because he's not gonna get beaten up again, ever. I just wanted you to see what his uh, beaten up clothes look like. So, he's being all cool. Get him, Susan. That was amazing. You looked kind of scared, but you, you you did it. You did it for the lady. 
Mother House who's like, um, I did it for the lady. I know this is a serious scene, but uh, Susano has an Audi. So he's like, uh, the gods are toying with me, my sword's possessed. I'll have you know, that's not wolf spit, it's, uh, it's god spit, so, uh, shut up as soon. So, uh, she basically says, Susano ran away without a word. And you know the kid? The kid that we met in the forest. He screams. Like, he, he makes a, a scream, and he's like, eh! And you're like, oh crap, what, what's happening? He must be fishing really hard. He's probably fishing so hard that he pulled a, um, one of those things. Muscles. So if you talk to him earlier, he's like, hey, my dog is missing. I don't know where uh, she went. Oh, by the way, it's a fish. It's eating a dog. So real quick, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say something here. The amount of time that dog spends underwater, I I don't care. That dog is not alive. So he's like, I'm gonna catch this this fish. But my, uh, my line broke. But I'm gonna hold my pole over the water and try to catch this fish. So, uh, we were taught about fishing earlier. Now we get to fish some. My, 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 uh, the jar that I drink my tea out of condensated real bad. And all the stuff on my table, all of it, right, got wet. Like, one of my Christmas cards is wet, and it got some red ink on it from a Christmas card that was below it, because it also got wet. Which kind of sucks, but I'm letting it dry out right now. And, uh, another thing. So, incense sticks, right? I like to burn incense sticks. They're, like, my... One of, one of my things. And one of my incense sticks got soaked. And I'm, I'm worried that it won't light. I mean, I do have, like, 20 other incense sticks, but I, what if this one doesn't, doesn't light? Right, it's what I want to know. So to just solve that curiosity, to, uh, to break the tension, because this is, is a pretty intense part of the game, because uh, the dog was just eaten by a big fish. Right, the dog is probably going to die. Probably, probably going to die because of this fish. Come on. Come, oh shit, oh, 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 oh. There we go. Wait a minute. Come on. Come on, gotta save the gotta save the dog from the fish. My lighter's out of fuel. I'll never know. Come on. Come on. It's just a little fire. You can do it. You can do it. Holy crap, good news everybody. It still lights. Oh no, but it's not doing the thing they do. It's probably gonna fizzle out immediately, if we're being totally honest here. But I'm gonna leave it uh, lit. There we go. <laughs> so the poor fish is terrified. 
All right, I'm just gonna skip this and straight up say, oh, uh, the dog swallowed the fish. He cries as soon as like you're crying, you cry, baby, don't cry. Um, as soon as like, wow, the moon's out on the water surface, but there is no moon. Here's a bunny. Now, uh, some Japanese uh, mythology and lore. Uh, a rabbit makes mochi on the moon, so you gotta hit it with a hammer. You gotta gotta pat it out. Hit it with a hammer, pat it. All right. In Dragon Ball, the original, there was a rabbit character who made mochi on the moon. In Japanese Shinto mythology, there's a rabbit that makes mochi on the moon. I think it's called mochi. Uh, but yeah, there's some, there's some fun facts for you. He's like, I was just chilling here in the forest and a fish ate me. So the, the whole lore of this area is that a big catfish ate the reflection of the moon. Also, the fish spits, spits out the dog. The dog's not dead. I don't think that's a boy dog. Look, it has flowers on it. It could be, but like none of the animals are anatomically correct. So this is the second time this dog has been eaten. <laughs> How did you canine track tracker former comrade's body? What the none of business house smell? Just don't like baths. All hey wait. So now, uh, same thing with all the other ones. Uh, what right do you have to bear the canine tracker? Fight me, bro. And same fight as all the other ones. I'm not gonna be able to hit her. Him. Dog. I'm not gonna be able to hit the dog. Because of all the freaking dodging it does. That's a lie. This, this dog isn't dodging as much. Cut the thing! Come on. Come at me, bro, or, or lady, bro. I don't want to assume your gender. Come on, hit it. Hit it. I'm, I'm playing with one hand right now, it, just FYI. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Wait a minute. Crap, I did it again. I did it again. I failed. No, hang on. The part the part we're all here for. Look at it. Ah! Look at the Twitch! Okay. So, now, now begins the sad backstory of Why Dog. And this makes the earlier bits a little bit more meaningful. It's my duty to defeat Crimson Helm, but this child and his father saved me from death. I owe my life to them. What am I to do? Hey, look, guess what happens? You get the orb, because, uh, reasons? Dog-related reasons. Just this. So, yeah, now, now the dog doesn't have to go back to Lake Princessa. In all these events, I'm doing them in this specific order. First off, because I have to. Um, because you need the water sprout technique to get to this part where you catch the fish and save the dog. But also, you'll see how all the events line up pretty perfectly. G give me a moment. Also, see this bear? We met the bear earlier. Now there's a side quest you can do in the forest where you have to roll like five orbs up this hill and give them to the bear. And when you give him the last orb, he's all happy. And so the bear wakes up, and this is what the awake bear looks like, in case anybody who's played this game has never seen it. Um, you can do these canine warrior quests out of order by doing the one I'm about to go to first. Which, um, might even be faster than the, um, the way that I'm doing them now. Because in order to do the one, uh, in Soft Soft Sanctuary, you have to wait until nighttime. 
So in order to do this one here, you have to wait until nighttime, right? So you could wait until nighttime in the field, fight here, and then go over to um, the other place and wait until, well, yeah, and then do the Mr. and Mrs. Cutter thing. And then you're done there. Which might be a quick way to do it. I have no clue. I'm not I'm not a speedrunner. I'm not smart. But y you know the other dog that does the digging that has the exact same colored thing as all the other... Well, not colored, but has the exact same thing as all the other ones? You know, the orb and the, and the scarf thing? Now, out of all of the canine warriors, like... Oh, like, aside from the fact some of them were trapped inside of stuff, or technically dead. Aside from that fact, uh, this is the only canine warrior that has an actually for real good reason for not going back at all. I'm gonna let this dialogue play because I like it. It's charming. Need to talk man to man, uh, actually. So this is why you have the moon technique. You get it because you have to wait until night time. But I'm gonna let this dialogue do the thing. <laughs> gonna let this punk talk to you like that? So, yeah, that, that, I like that dialogue there. It's like, we're here to fight man to man, fist to fist. I'm like, uh, you mean do dog to wolf possible? Because it is. So, this dog is the digging champion, right? So he can dig. Good. I'm gonna fall in the hole and see if he'll do the other thing. Not that thing, the other other thing. Come on. Do the thing. Do the thing I know you're gonna do. Do the thing! Do it! Do it. Do the thing. Not that thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, do it, do it, do it. Oh, you're actually no fun. Alright, so I was trying to make the dog do. Um, there, there's a few abilities that Madarasu can get. Uh, one of them is called Golden Fury, which allows you to do the thing to, um... You can basically uh, collect demon fangs by shaming enemies. Uh, there's another one called Brown Fury, which is the same thing except with a, with a, an exploding poop, and they can do it. Look at the twitch. Ah. I did not mean to take that much damage, but it's okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let this happen. So, like, the, the real Hayabusa died, which would be sad. So the kid would have lost his dad and his dog in one fell swoop. So he came here to replace 
See, in the loyalty orb, because he's loyal. But he came to replace uh, the real Hayabusa to protect uh, Mushi from, you know, like the arrow that is going to come on the night of the festival. So he's there for a noble cause. He's there to protect a child, and he came on the order of a dying wish. Whereas all the other canine warriors are like, nah, don't wanna. I'm just gonna buy some of those. So he is the dealio. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go meet the princess, sir. You know the one. Dang, my health hasn't been that low, like, ever. So... Uh... I, I'm trying, I'm trying to say things, I'm trying to say things. I, I got stuck on words, uh, but... This is one of, like, the side quests where, uh, when I rented this game from Movie Gallery, um, I got, first off, I got stuck on the Mr. and Mrs. Cutter thing, and I had to return the game because I couldn't figure it out in time. And then once I had finally figured that out, completely by accident, mind you, uh, I went through this quest, and then I got to the Gale Shrine, and then got stuck there, and had to return the game before I had time to finish it. And then... I think from there, I hadn't played it for a long time, or I had rented it a bunch and beat it, but I remember buying the game um, through Amazon. I, I volunteered at the library, I didn't have a computer or internet, so I asked the lady there, I'm like, hey, if I give you the money, can you order things from Amazon for me? The first thing I ever ordered was Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I'll get into details about that in, in another series. Wink. Um, but I think the second thing I got was either Dragon Quest VIII or Okami. Uh, I'm gonna end this episode once I get into the dungeon. Uh, because I wanna. I, I wanna do that. It's not like I have a save specifically ready or anything, but, you know. So you go back to the princess, she's all like, oh, you brought back the remaining- I'm gonna skip this cutscene, that's why I'm explaining. She's like, oh, you brought back the, uh, the power orbs, it's a shame the canine warriors couldn't come by. Um, then she's like, okay, now I can go dispel the barrier protecting the shrine, and then the orbs come to you to dispel the barrier, because she would get herself killed if she went in there. So now you gotta take all the power orbs to the shrine. You gotta, you gotta power it. You gotta orb it. Real quick, I have to uh, do the thing. There we go. There's some monkeys out here. You can feed them for the praises, but I, I don't wanna. I don't need it. Don't need that praise. I need that subscribers though, so... Subscribe button. So, um, another thing, so Susano's here, he's praying to break the seal on the sl Susano style sleeping monk hidden snake. He's praying to break the barrier on the shrine, but he fell asleep. And there's a ghost guy here, and he's, he's stuck on earth because he hasn't, like, accomplished stuff. He's gone blind, and his inner eye can judge a person's true form. You appear to be a maiden most fair. Now, when I was younger, I did not understand. I thought this was just a joke. Uh, because I thought the Matarasu was a boy dog. Uh, but... When I learned that a Matarasu is a female god, this makes so much more sense. So much sense. So... The maiden is accompanied by a booger? Is the village met its end at last? So, okay. That, that's, that's that. Then he notices the orbs, then you unlock the shrine, and he's like, please save the stuff. 
Uh, once I get to the first save spot, I'll, I'll call this episode. Now we're getting introduced to the dungeon. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna quickly say, go down that way, go down this way, you fight an enemy, you get a key to unlock one of those eye lock mouth doors. I'm not gonna fight it, because it's it's just like one enemy and it would take take more time and I need to cut this episode soon because it's getting long and I don't like making people watch videos that are too long. See the eye mouth door? Okay, he's here. Next time on Okami.